This game is rated M for Mature. Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Darksiders Blind. When we last left off, we have been stripped of all of our godly powers as the aspect of war in terms of being the horsemen of the apocalypse. And we are now tasked of finding out why we were summoned even though the seals aren't broken. And dealing with the big giant heads here. But then... Chaositor. The angry blade thirsts for destruction. We get our weapon back and get its name, Chaos Eater. Because it has to be the most emo thing in the world because, you know, war. Oh, wrong button. The war's legendary blade, also stripped of its former strength and powers, like we are. But we get one ability back, which we actually didn't have access to in the little opening sequence. Blade Geyser, or Geyser. Probably Geyser. Uh, we essentially summon a blade on the ground whenever we want to now. If we actually get to see it right there. So let's go ahead and assign this. Let's actually just keep it with what it is. We'll keep it with B. We also have a life essence, which is a way to heal ourselves. And as you can see, this game takes quite a lot from Legend of Zelda here. Got all these different things that we'll see. These artifacts, which will probably be important later in the game. We got enhancements and legendary things and other weapons. We got abilities, consumables, gear, and passives. And, this, and these right here are eventually going to be like life extensions and wrath extensions because but as you can see that spinning ability I had no the longer there. Of the dead will be your currency. Some enemies are more easily bought than killed. Yep. As they said, some enemies are more bought than killed, so here is gonna be our major currencies throughout the game. We have three types of souls that we'll be using throughout the game. Currency, the blue souls, which we'll be speaking to a vendor that will require them later on. The health, which is the green souls, which will be used to keeping our stamina up. And wrath, the yellow souls, which will fill the little bars we saw earlier. Seek the demon Volgrim. Few can afford his services, but perhaps you can strike a bargain. The Council confers with demons now, does it? Since the truce was broken, some demons have fallen from the Destroyer's favor. Volgrim is one such outcast. He has long sought an audience with us. How long have I been here? <laughs> We're simply given no answer to that question and just sent back to Earth. Apparently the council doesn't take too kindly to us asking anything. Looks like our trajectory was a little off. Not so fast, horseman. <laughs> Let's lay down a few ground rules. Until this is over, you're a dog on a leash. I say bark, you bark. And if I have to kick you, you'd better not bear your teeth. Understand? Or should I teach you to play dead? And since, because it's immediately obvious to anyone who has a passing interest in, well, 
anything nerdy. The voice of our watcher, of the guy who is taking care of us for the uh, council, is Mark Hamill, who most people know really for this point now as the Joker, more so than they know him from his Star Wars role. I know I'm gonna have a lot of people argue against that, but I'm sorry, frankly. He's played, you know, the role of Joker so much longer. I think that's a little bit more important in the end of things. But yeah, now we're going through here. You can destroy some of these, you know, little things about the world to get more souls. And since it's gonna be our major currency, yeah, we're gonna need a lot of them, but for the most part, you know, we really don't need to. We're just going to be rushing through here and having the game teach us a little bit more. Here comes the welcome party. yourself the first and most basic enemy in the game zombies they're not too difficult really easily killed easily slaughtered in fact one of the best things about them is that you can actually grab onto them and destroy them immediately and it's actually probably preferable to do so for some new players to this game if only because, well, they'll give you a refill of health. Killing enemies in different ways will actually reward you with different resources. Generic killing, for the most part, will just give you the blue souls for uh, currency, but grabbing onto them and will go and give you some green souls. I believe there's actually a way for them to go and give you some yellow souls as well, but I um, can't recall it off the top of my head. With that done, we can actually move on forward. And we're immediately over here. We're immediately shown the fact that there are some enemies that will just naturally go and explode. Now that was actually showing you the Gauntlet Glow. It's actually something I didn't even really notice when I was first going through this blind. Is the fact that when you're actually near something that will can be interacted with, your gauntlet will glow a color actually. See? Alright, come on. Let me through. I wanna keep my thing. No? Alright, now memory serves. Oh. And we're treated with the zombies. Now you wanna pretty much wanna fight this guy very carefully. Because he's one of those guys that is a bit of a bruiser that will kick your butts. They actually give you a lot of the regular zombies over here to keep your health high. Because this guy can and will kill you. Essentially what I found is you want to go and smack him like once or twice. Hit him when he's laughing. And then when you get the chance, dodge away. If you can get behind him, do so. As you can see, even me knowing what to do, I'm not the best here. But once you see him start staying still and letting out an evil roar, that means he's gonna start blowing up. So dodge out of the way. Hopefully we'll eventually get an easier way of fighting him. Also, like any good Zelda or God of War game or any other kind of game you want to 
go with a little hack and slash action adventure. We have these giant chests that you'll find. Those chests will reward us with, depending on their color, different items or different resources. That one, of course, he healed us all up. We're actually back at maximum health now. And now the game's teaching us, well, some of the more basic things of dragon objects. You could see a little bit more of its Zelda roots here because of this. You know what, let's go ahead and take care of you. Alright, we're good. Although, in many ways, we're actually moving a little bit faster than Zelda. Legend Zola ever has simply because of, well, we got those little move faster icons. Now, you don't necessarily need to beat all the enemies early on here. As a matter of fact, I think these zombies just keep respawning. But it's an okay source of getting some early souls, which we'll need. Ah, of course they're gonna do that stuff to us. And there's another demonic door that we have to deal with. Kill them all the enemies before we move on. Now one thing I learned later on is that you can actually change the targeting thing by the other control pad here. Although that said, it's not the best in the world. It's better to just go and use your tab targeting to basically switch depending on who you need to fight. Once you've killed enough zombies... We get another little butthead that we gotta fix. Now this guy, we have to pretty much have to make sure we like like the guy before him. We have to avoid his attacks. Though unlike the fire dude, he's a little bit more telegraphed here. Ow. But we can also show off Ow. our wrath abilities. You gotta be careful though, because these guys can and will kill you if you're not prepared. It's not so much like a wait and see kind of thing, more like you just gotta be prepared. him dead, that should open up the demonic gateway and let us continue on. Well, we're not going back, so... Let's see, what else? More zombies! But yeah, if you couldn't tell, Humanity is kind of screwed. But then again, this is a video game we're talking about. Humanity is usually screwed no matter what. Oh, thank you. I'll take the extra hell. If I could only get a little more wrath. How long was I gone? In Earth years? About a century. Long enough for the last of the mouth breathers to die off. Then... the Third Kingdom is lost.
Zato. I almost didn't hear you coming. Vogrum. The Council finally took me seriously. If so, you're surely not empty-handed. For well, this shall be the briefest of introductions. Seek the power behind the one called Destroyer. You will find the answers and the font of his power there. Oh, such haste to die. You aren't even a shadow of your former self. You wouldn't last a heartbeat. Besides, the way to the tower is shrouded by demon magics. Even I do not know the way. Who does? Feed my hunger. And I'll feed your curiosity. And now we're introduced to Volgram. Volgram is essentially, well, for lack of a better word, He's our vendor throughout the game. Nah, I'm dead serious. He's a bit of a storyline thing right now, but as we go throughout the rest of the game, he will go and essentially be the guy where we buy all of our upgrades at, as well as all of our, you know, abilities. Frankly, when it comes to characters like him, I prefer the big dude who turned musical records into um, mystical objects in Bayonetta. But then again, I haven't experienced this game as much as I have Bayonetta, so. But we are now out of block. And honestly, I don't think blocking is all that important. But essentially, the ability I've been using to dodge like this we do it standing still. Run. Hey, hey, hey! I'm trying to show this off. There we go. We will take a little bit of chip damage while blocking like this, but it is gonna be useful. You just gotta do it at the right time. But throughout this entire area, because we're in essentially a hub world now, there will be chests littered about, and we're going to have to go find these chests. Some of them, like the one down here, will be just health. Sometimes you're going to need that, though, to well, simply survive. Other chests, though, like I believe the one down here... Busy fighting guys. Give me a look. Oh crap. Get out of the way, get out of the way. So far, the main way of fighting most enemies in this game I found is staying as much behind them as possible. And don't go into a combo when you know they're gonna do a little move that's gonna make them rush at you. Hey! Come on, you. Finally. 
Uh, probably the one reason I actually hate these big demons the most is simply because their insta-kill animation takes so bloody long. Whereas, like, everyone else is, like, short and sweet, right to the point. I might be avoiding using the B command on him in the future. Only problem with that is the fact that it makes it so much easier to just kill them real fast. I'll take them. I'll take more health. But down here, there should be a blue chest, which, as you can guess, gives us our currency. I don't think there's anything else down here. Nope. Now we go back. We can do like Link does in Legend of Zelda, just spam our movement ability to get around. Actually a way to get in there. Think so maybe yes there is now for me when I actually went through this originally I didn't explore everything I just kind of collected as much as I could to feed Holgrim and went in on we're pretty much going to do the same thing here so there are some things here that I'm simply not aware of should actually be enough souls yes it is We have enough souls to feed Vulgrim's hunger. Now, maybe he'll feed our curiosity. Yeah, the Watcher here will actually be kind of like Navi. What's really interesting is that you can actually target him if you really want to. But, so he'll pop up every once in a while when you the game thinks you're not moving These fast enough. These ancient gates have a mind of their own. But with this, you may reach an understanding. Beyond the gate, seek out Samael's prison. Once, Samael was close in power to the Dark Prince himself. Some might even say, a threat. You will find, he is no friend to the Destroyer. Seek me out when you've gathered more souls. I will make it worth your while. And with that, we actually have a new item and a new objective. To find Samael. With the Earth Caller in our grasp, though, we can actually do something. But I'll save that for next time. <laughs> Until then, folks.